Hello, Live Wires. Heather Boyd Wire here. Wire Lady TV every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time here on my new channel. If you don't already know, uh, my regular channel is Heather Boyd Wire, and that's where I do all kinds of wire art and jewelry tutorials uh, a couple times a week. And uh, live streams are now moved to this new channel. Uh, they're not everybody's cup of tea. These are the uh, sessions where I work on new designs. I troubleshoot ideas from my sketches. And sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes they're hit and miss. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. But we always have fun. So if ever you want to make comments and suggestions, uh, you're welcome to do so in the comment section. And without further ado, we are going to flip the screen and get started. So let me just flip the screen around. Hi, Amber, how are you doing? So here we go. We have the sketches here. And big thanks to Peggy, who asked for uh, Valentine's things and was talking about lockets. So we're going to try some heart-shaped lockets for today's live stream. It's pretty exciting. And so I did a bunch of sketches with different ideas, some different like round forms and stuff. And, um, and I remember we talked about uh, that uh, Melody had done a locket on live wires for the win a couple of years ago. And so I looked up her locket because I couldn't remember what it looked like. And here is Melody's locket. They also call them trinket boxes and hers is a little bit different. So she's got this little area here that opens up to make almost like a globe, like a a, a round 3D shape and then I had forgotten but she had done a tree and the tree just slips inside the locket and close up it's really really sweet so if you go to the live wires for the win Facebook page uh, you can look at all the photos of previous participants and this was Melody's piece for one of the themes so yeah oh thanks thanks amber so that was amazing uh, super inspirational so i'm gonna just troubleshoot some ideas this i actually I don't usually prep for these but i made this last night as a kind of a preparation uh, for one of these i guess it would be more like this idea where it spirals out and then you weave it around with wire. So this worked quite well. I'm going to just show it to you because I'm not going to make another one on the live stream. So it's a spiral and it's woven around. You start in the middle and work your way out. Otherwise, it's going to be a hot mess. And then with the same wire, this is 18 gauge. I made these kind of loops. So it makes like a little, looks like a little tray type of thing. And I actually ran out of the 18 gauge wire. So I added a little piece of those little loops. So that's really cool. So that could definitely be a, a locket. If you do another side and open and close it like that. Interesting, eh? So what I want to do, though, is I do want to try some heart shaped ones. And I saw a really cool idea. Um, at some point, I, f I forget where I saw it, but there was like a little chain with a little a little um, pin that went into the side of the locket there. So I'm going to try something like that too to keep it closed because otherwise, how are you going to keep it closed, right? So the other idea I had was to put a bead and a little wire and then snap it. So we're going to see if that's going to work. Maybe I'll start with something like that and then I'll go on to do maybe like a key type of one. I thought those were really cute too. So the really, the sky's the limit. And um, I won't do the tree because I didn't realize Melody had already done a tree. So hers was beautiful. I'm not going to I'm not going to go there with the tree, but you could do a tree of life on it as well. But I was thinking you want to fill in the space so it becomes more of a locket. So there's there's so many possibilities for these. Hi, Connie. So uh, so let's start by doing a heart shape. So I'm going to this is really troubleshooting, guys. I'm not going to guarantee any success on this. But we're just going to have fun because we never know what happens in these live streams. So let's measure some wire and do a basic heart shape to start. Ooh, there's a piece of fluff. Yeah, get out of there. And let's measure around here and do about, why don't we start with about eight inches. It should work. And we're going to do two pieces that are eight inches long and see how it goes. And hopefully some more people will hop on the live stream. I should also share it 
on my Facebook page. So maybe I'll do that now. I'm going to uh, open, an upper, um, open another browser. While I do this, I'm going to put these sketches back so you guys can see these. And I will open another browser, and I'm going to actually go to the channel and go to the live, make sure my sound is off, go here. I'm going to click the link, copy, close it. And yeah, I've never tried. I'm, I don't think I've ever tried a locket. You guys know me and my memory. I might have tried a locket. I just don't remember. Maybe, Amber, you would remember. I don't think I have, though. Definitely haven't done a tutorial for one. So let me just go ahead and share this on my Heather Boyd Wire page. Uh, huh. Where can I post that? Post and... There we go. Um, Wire Lady TV Live happening now, I should put. Okay, let me see. I'm going to do this. Happening now uh, on. Whoop. On. You should have done this earlier. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's done. Promo done. Let's get going. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have. So let's just try this heart one. And what I'm going to do to start is do a little loop in the middle so that we have something to hang it on. And I should get rid of these tools to get them out of the screen there. Mm. And the I posted for Tip Tuesday yesterday a heart bracelet and I've had a request to make matching earrings so look out for another tutorial probably later today for the matching earrings I have all the components I just have to do a tutorial on how to put them together as earrings so that won't take too long so we've got that and that and let me get a round form I love it when you guys make suggestions like that because it makes me think of how we can multi-purpose some of these pieces so we're going to bring this one around hopefully eight inches is enough bring that one around here maybe that's a little big now i don't think it has to be that big let's make it a little bit smaller i have a little bit more give with this maybe around here i don't want it too small either so what if we bring that one around here and then this one around here i'm going to decide how big it's going to be because the other thing is we have to do some kind of spring uh, some kind of how do you say like a latch thing so if we do this this can be the underneath part and then we're going to do one on the over part but I don't think we need a loop on this part I think we're just going to do this now this is where we get into the design aspect of how it's going to work out so we're going to do this uh, make sure the admin approved the message. I think I missed something. There we go. So we're going to bring this one around here and bring this one around here. Sometimes you, you guys comment, make comments and reference something that I've said, and then I've already forgotten five minutes later. So, so you have to refresh my memory. You're being silly. Okay. That's okay. We're at silly is good. I like silly, you know me. So we're going to bring this one here and here. Match these up. Uh, there we go. And we really want these to be the same size. So what I'm going to do first is the, the top part needs to have some kind of latch. Now this is, this is where I have to figure out what in the world I'm going to do. I should have maybe finished it at the top, but I'm not even sure. So let me just try if I go ahead and take this one. I'm going to bend this. This is very much just troubleshooting. So we're going to see. And then this one, we're going to make sure they line up. And yeah, sometimes making designs takes many, many attempts. So I'll do what I can on the live stream. And then what I don't get done, I'll either do on a next live stream or do some after the after the fact. So we're going to just bend that. So this becomes the heart, but then we need 
I'm going to really try to pinch it so it stays in place. And what we need is, I was thinking, I'm not sure it's going to work, but let me get a bead and see if that can function as a button type of thing. And I'm going to try for the, I don't know if this is going to fit on there, the hematite bead. Oh, it does. Okay, so would this work? I just have to, just give me a sec to think about this because we might have to bring it. I'm going to leave that there for now because the other thing I'm wondering, that didn't, I didn't, yeah, see this one, I did like a kind of a loopy doop, which maybe would have been better for that. Ah, okay, so let's scrap this one because that's not exactly how I did my sketch. Let's just do this and bend that one down and then bend this one around. We're gonna put the button on this one because it's the underneath one, I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> I, I am the admin, that's it. Yeah, I have a lot of things I, I'm admin, I admin for, so. It's fun. It's hard to juggle sometimes, but it's fun. I'm back to posting on my uh, comic Facebook uh, page as well. I had to stop before Christmas because I was too busy with work. So you have to um, pace yourself and make decisions of what you're going to have time to do. So here's the heart. And then this bead would go on there. And then the other thing that I had done on the other side, which I didn't realize, and we're going to need a larger piece is starting at the bottom. So let me just go ahead and get my piece of wire. There we go. And I think I'm gonna cut it pretty large, maybe even 18 inches. Better too large than too small. So let's cut this one to 18. And start a little loop at the bottom. I'm not sure this is going to work or not. I let me just try a loop. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. So we're gonna take this, fold it in half, and this is almost like a reverse Mimi heart because we're doing the loop at the bottom. And whether it clips onto here or not is my question. Because this this was something that was I had in my head, but I'm not sure it's going to work. So if we did this, and I might not, the bead idea might not work. I might have to do a different type of clasp. I think, yeah, I think the bead is gonna to be too stiff, but what I could probably do is, let me see, the comic Facebook page. Oh, you don't wanna go there. <laughs> I have a lot of, I have a lot of um, mm, interesting, uh, meme community people that go on there. So you probably better just stick with Instagram. It's a little more um, uh, calm, let's say. Uh, yeah, there's some interesting communities on Facebook, that's for sure. But um, I'm open to a lot of different uh, people and different uh, types of communication and stuff. And I don't take life too, too seriously. There we go. So we're going to take this here and this here. Ah, there we go. And I was actually surprised how many young people are on Facebook. I didn't think any young people were on Facebook, but apparently there's a huge meme community on Facebook. Who knew? So we're going to bring this one here and this one here. All right, so let's see if we can line them up because we want to, them to be the same size. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but we're gonna do our best. So if we're gonna bring this one here, around here, and why don't we get the ring cone to do the spirals and see if that's going to work. So we're gonna do the, take the ring cone, get it to about the right size, and then we're gonna try our spiral thing. Do, do, and do. Okay, and then this one, do, do, and do. Okay, so let's see if that's good. So you guys know how I like to do my spirals. We're gonna line that up. And what we can do now is 
bring this end around and trim it, clip it. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Uh, well, I hope it's going to look cool. We're going to see. It's definitely an experiment and the challenge is going to be to get it to close, to clip close. So we'll see how that goes. And then I would like to make another one after with the keys and we'll see how that goes. Might or might not do the heart shape for the second one. I'm going to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this one in and collapse that spiral. That's the tricky part is just to flick of the wrist, get it in there and collapse it. That's pretty good. Now we're just creating a bit of a uh, solid surface there. And I haven't thought in terms of what is going to go in this locket, if anything. I like the idea of actually putting a photo. And that's what we used to put in lockets when we were young. I think I still have a locket that I had when I was really young, I, when I was probably like 12 years old or something, 10 or 12. I think I still have that locket that my parents would have given me back in the day. So I have to, uh, I'll try to dig that out. It's very basic though. It's just a cast metal one. It's nothing out of wire. I don't even remember if I ever really made anything out of wire when I was a kid. I did a lot of crafts and my first experience with jewelry making, which I didn't make myself, but there was a girl in my grade five class at school that I think she was going on a field trip or something, some kind of trip and she was raising money. And so she made her own little chokers with just black cotton cord and and beads and I thought she, I was really impressed she probably was maybe the first person that really inspired me to become a jewelry maker because I remember she was like grade five and she was making these necklaces and selling them I don't know for 50 cents or something to raise money to go on her trip and I just even at that age I realized you know what an incredible entrepreneur and uh, free thinker she was to do that I just thought that was the coolest thing so here's the heart, probably you might want to even hammer it a little bit to flatten it out. I don't have my hammer on me, but you could probably hammer it down a little bit. And then down here, I was thinking we could fill in the space maybe with more. I used almost all that wire, eh? That was 18. I actually think photos, exactly. Okay, so let's try, like get another piece that's maybe 10 inches or 12 inches. And from here, I'm thinking we can do another little spiral and somehow attach it. So why don't we clip this flush? We just want to make this area filled in a little bit. I think that's the I think that's the key. And that's actually how I drew it out here. I'm not going to do all that weaving though. That's going to be too much. Okay, so now let's remove all that stuff so it's not a distraction. And we're going to start in the middle. Can we do a slight thinking rather than a triangle? Well, maybe I'll just do the triangle. I was gonna do a I was gonna do a kind of diamond shape, but I think it's just gonna get complicated. So let me just do a triangle type thing. Okay. And see if that's gonna work. And we don't need too much space in between these. We're gonna see. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're gonna try this. I have a dangly bunny on my light that's getting in the way. Okay, it's over there, bunny. I got it in Toronto. Uh, we went to Toronto in, um, when was it? August. And they had this cool store that's all vending machines and you could win stuffed animals. And so we got a bunch of tokens and Mimi and I each won uh, an animal. I've got a bunny, of course, I forget what she got, but it was so interesting. And they now have those places. I saw one in Montreal, so that's neat. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. 
they have one downtown, but I had never seen it before, though I saw the one in Toronto. I think they probably maybe have them in ma major cities. They're all those, a lot of um, kind of anime type stuffed animals and stuff. They're, uh, and people go in there with tons of tokens and basically a shopping cart and they fill them full of stuffies. It's the cutest thing ever. You would love it. They're such cute little stuffed animals and stuff. So here is this. And I think, I think this is going to be too, I don't know if this is wide enough. Oops. I'm making these a funny shape. Okay. So let's see if that's going to fit in there. And the, uh, and the question is then where do you, where do you cut it? It's going to be a little, I might be able to adjust this a little bit more. Bring that one up a little bit more. Okay. I just want it to be able to fit. And then this one, I'm going to bring that one in here. Now, what if we, see, there's that little space there. I wonder if we could do something fancy-wancy and make a little, try it. I can always cut it off. Just a little triangle here. It might be interesting. Sort of a triangle. And let's clip it off. So I had way too much wire there, so probably six to eight inches is plenty for that. Yeah, sounds paw amazing. You would love it. Claw machine for stuffed toys. Yes. Yeah, it was so cool. So when I went to Toronto, I think I posted pictures on my Instagram. Uh, um, Connie and Amber, you would have seen that on my comic Instagram. A, a little video of me winning the, the bunny. It was fun. Okay, so this is cute. Looks a little bit like a face, which was not intentional. But I just really want to fill in that space that's there. So let's do this way maybe it's going to fit better it's a little it's a little tight i don't know if i can tighten this up a little bit more I'm just gonna get that one in a little bit more and then we're gonna have to somehow get it to sit in there i made it a little bit big i wonder you know what i'm gonna it's too big so what if we, in fact, it's going to be too small if I put it like that. It's, it's going to be better, though, because right now it's too big. So let's go back here and see, that's going to be, I could always redo this because it seems to be a little bit big. Let me try another one. Okay. Let me just try this. What if we start at the top and work our way in? I wonder if that's going to be better. Let's try that. So we're going to start here, start there, and let me just check. Uh, Corey, Cuba. Oh, my goodness. Every time we turn around, you're in another hot place. That's fun. I had um, my... Old boss used to go to Cuba uh, like three times a year to, um, she had a place she used to go, just a little, a little um, B and B or something, a little, a little hotel. And she, yeah, she loved it. I think she probably still goes as long as her health is okay. She's up in her 80s now, I think. Bring that one up. So what I'm doing now is just actually trying to fit this in here a little bit more so it actually is going to fit. Because before I started from the middle and worked my way out and it didn't quite fit. So now I'm working from the outside in. And it seems better because you can really get it to be the right size. Perfect. So let's do that. We really don't need much wire. Like five inches is probably plenty. And there we go. Hope you have nice weather. It's quite mild here in Montreal. Um, I was actually, it's funny. I was just saying to Mimi this morning that I, that we've had such a mild winter. I haven't even, you know, had the desire to go anywhere else because it hasn't really been a painful winter and we haven't had that much snow either so there that piece fits in better now how do we get it to stay let's get some 
I'm sticking with the 26 gauge wire, even though it's not maybe not the perfect match color wise. This is like a berry yellow, but I think I'm going to stick with this wire because the 24 is a little. Oh, wait, does this 26? What is this? 24, I think. Well, that's 24. Hang on, let me see. I think I have 26 gold. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. I do. Here's 26 gauge gold. So let's use that. And windy but sunny. That's nice. That locket is so lovely. Thank you. Let's hope it actually is going to become a locket. Otherwise, it might just be a pendant. So we're going to see. This, this 26 is a bit of a mess. Uh, should have used one of those spool tamers. Oh, well. Too late for that. Let's just try to pick up that wire. There we go. Okay, dope. So I will take some wire, 26 gauge, give it a clip, and see if we can somehow attach this baby in here. Now, I guess we'll just start. Might be easier to start along around the outside rather than do that middle part. Wow, what's with all the hair bits? That's not even my own hair. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so let's bring this one in here. Here, and wind it here. Oh, I could probably go, look at that. I could just go in and in, because it's a op the spiral's open, so I'm just able to go right in there. Yay, I love when that happens. And then up the other way. Perfecto. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, so we've got it there and there. And then let's go up this way. Uh, this one, I, I guess I could go through that way too. I'm just going to do it this way. So now if we come up here, we want to also... I had another idea for that. I'm going to leave that plain. And I think I'll just trim that one here. And then these ones, I think we need to attach in the middle. So they'll stay together. So let's try that. Is this the over piece or the under piece now? Is this is the over piece. Okay. So we're going to take this and just attach these side by side so they don't come apart around here and so those are together and I'm thinking just so it won't slide maybe I'll just do a little bit of a weave so that means like around that one and then over here and then around that one so that way it'll be a little bit more secure it's like a little pseudo weave thing rather than just going back and forth. So that's going to make it a little bit more stable. And I could even go back through here again and do another one. Okay. It's like an actual kind of weave thing. You guys know I don't do a lot of weaving, but I can when I'm under pressure. So there we go. We're going to go do this and this and around and around. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. We're going to trim that in. And that's woven together like a pro. So there we go. So that's good. And then now we have to somehow attach this to this. So I guess what we could do is go through here and hair everywhere. That's so funny. I, uh, that was one of my posts on Instagram. I think I did it on Instagram too, about pulling car uh, hair off my parents' carpet because I go um, clean their apartment every month. And I was brushing all the hair off my, off the front carpet in my parents' apartment um, because my mom sheds a lot. I mean, luckily she grows it back a lot too. So that's good. Um, and then my dad was standing there and I said to my dad, oh, because his birthday's coming up. I said, dad, I'm going to knit you a 
sweater with all this hair off the carpet. And oh my goodness, he let out the biggest belly laugh. It was so cute. And my my dad, is, um, his memory's not great. He's, he's losing his memory, which is sad, but he's almost 90. So we're giving him a lot of slack. And um, oh, the laugh. Oh my goodness, that just made my day. No, laughter brings such joy. Yeah, for sure. So there we go. So we're going to go around here and around. Susan, how are you? Nice to see you. I, I forgot to um, message you today, but I think I think I did tell you last week that we're every Wednesday uh, on uh, this channel. So there we go. So I've just, I don't know, I've kind of woven it around every which way. If you want to fill in the areas a little more, you can kind of work, work your way around, I guess. I'm not going to worry too much about it because I would have to get another wire. But say you do want to weave it, then you have to like attach it there, bring it down over here. Yeah, so you can, this is the part where you can use your discretion on how much winding and weaving you want to do and i'm not even 100 percent convinced this is a good design but i'm not going to worry too much about it i'm just going to play around with it and then say you have a little more extra wire we're going to bring it and then we can attach it to this side too i'm running out of the hardest beautiful thank you we're trying to make a locket making a concerted effort to make the locket. I'm just using up my rest of my wire here. This is the 26 gauge. And then just do a little weave in here. There we go. Perfect. So, okay, so this is a basic idea. Like I said, you could go ahead and hammer this a little bit to hold it in place. But basically I just kind of wanted to fill in the area a little bit. And then this would be the piece that, let me just see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So if that one comes down, this one would be underneath. And, ah, that we have to attach these at the top. Oh, and I guess this is how I was gonna attach it. Cause originally I thought about doing a couple of loops here to attach it onto a neck. I don't know if you could see that to attach it onto a necklace like that would string through those two. But I guess for this one, I was thinking in terms of just attaching it in the middle. So why don't we just stick with that idea? And then this, but we do have to make a kind of a coil thing. So why don't we try 20 gauge wire? That's 22, here's 20. So let's get some 20 gauge wire and We'll just get not too much, maybe three, two to three inches. And it's always good to start the bend first. There, and this one here. And then this will be our little hook. I'm not gonna worry too much about that yet. So what we wanna do is, I haven't even really decided what I'm gonna do underneath there. Hmm, this is very interesting. So if we're hook, hooking this one up here and I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try, maybe 20 is too thick too. 20 might be too thick for this. I could try the 22. Yeah, 22 is a little thick, or 20 is a little thick. Let's try 22, at least for the sample where it's gonna be a little more easy to manipulate. So let's get some 22 gauge wire. Put that over there, maybe three inches. Okay, move these, maybe use them for something later. Uh, will it be able to open because of the heart humps attached in the middle? Hmm, we're gonna see. So we're going to do this and this at the top, this side. And I'm just hoping they're not gonna slide, slip and slide. That's my main, my main concern. But if we, let's do a couple of 
wines first here. Okay, up here. Okay, so let's just tack it there. And then on this side, we will tack it on this side. See, yeah, it might slip slide all over the place, but we're gonna see. Uh, bring that one over here and this one here. And then, like I said, I haven't really even decided what to do with the underneath one. We can maybe assume it has something similar. I, what I really wanted to do was to stick some kind of photo or something in there. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. But if we just try to do a little, this is definitely going to be something that requires more time to work on the design. But just for the sake of trying to get it done on the live stream, we'll, we'll get the basic design and then we'll figure out from there what we can do. So we're going to do this one here and that one here. And I also like the idea of the chaos wrap too. That will be another one to explore or a kind of a crocheted thing is interesting too. Now, the only problem here is how are we going to get it so it doesn't slide? So to do that, we might have to attach it to this other spiral. But with that, that's not going to work because it won't. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have done a little loop or something at the top. But for now, let me just see. So if this is here and this is here, Okay. And you see it opens. It definitely opens. That's not an issue. It's whether we can get these things so they don't slide all over the place. That's the problem. So if we take this one here, um, I don't know. I'm going to just for now just tr clip them and hope they're not going to slide too much. Okay. Hey, Wendy, nice to see you. It's been a hot minute. Nice. Welcome to the new channel. Yeah, we're having fun. I'm happy to have this all the live streams on a new channel too, because a lot of people on the other channel don't necessarily want to watch them. So it's nice to have them here. And I appreciate you guys wanting to come along for the journey. And as always, if you have to come and go, don't even think about um, that's a problem because I really just appreciate you being here for any amount of time. So see, we've, we've done these at the top, the springs. And the other idea I had had was to, like I said, to do these loops and then you hang a string through. So they would maybe stay up better if they were done that way. But just for the sake of this opening, it definitely opens, definitely opens. And then we want to do some kind, but it, it moves. That's the problem. The only problem is it, it moves. And I'm trying to think, because if you, you can't really do put a ring through here, or it's going to, I guess we could have done a loop here and then a ring, and then maybe it would have stayed. If, if we had done a loop here and, and then there's a loop here, it might have stayed in place and not wiggled so much, but it's still wiggling. But here is where we have to do some kind of hook thing to get it do through here. Because, see, you could put it through here, but you need some kind of, hmm, let me just see, some kind of hook with, with some kind of spring that it's going to stay in place. And I'm just trying to think of what, it would be that's why i thought about doing a bead or something or what if we just did a kind of a wire thing uh let's see what if we did this type of thing and then pushed it in but it's gonna have to be i think we're gonna have to pinch it in a little bit more okay and then what if that just stuck in there but i don't know if it's going to Unless, it do, unless we turn it the other way. Let's try it the other way. We're going to turn it in here. Let's see if that's going to work sideways. It should go in, but we might have to make it smaller. So I'm going to just bring this one. It's a little high now. I'm going to bring this one in a little bit more. Oh, maybe just maybe make a loop thing. 
That might work better. Okay, let's try to make a little loop. Okay, there. If we made a little loop and trimmed it. Okay, so I'll show you guys. So we have this loop and then this little teeny loop, but is it going to fit in there? Let's see. Mm, we might have to adjust it a little more. We're going to flatten that a little, bring that one up, make sure those are lined up, and stick that one in there. Oh, we might have to make it smaller. Okay. We can. We can pinch that in a little bit more. Okay. And stick that in there. Is it gonna is it gonna clip in? That's what we want it to do. Kind of clip. Well, I don't want to I don't want to hurt my finger. Maybe we can open this one up a little more. Let's try. Okay. Okay. And then stick that one in. Oh, it snapped. Look at that. Ha ha. There you go. So that actually worked. I don't know if it's going to stay closed, but it definitely snapped shut. So that's cool. And then this is here. Uh, we're going to do this and push this one here. And so we've got that. So now it's not perfect, but it's okay. And then what I was thinking for here was to do some kind of thing where you can clip in some um, clip in a photo somehow but let me just see how we could do that because I was trying to think of how you could fill in the back to make it uh, more solid you could do like a crocheted wire thing that might be interesting just to hold it like a kind of a that might be good actually or you could go back and forth with it what if we tried let's try the crochet type thing just to see how it's going to work and then we'll go from there. Okay. So clippy do. And you love how my library saw. Thank you guys. Uh, definitely have to um, improvise because uh, sometimes we have these ideas. Oh, this actually might help it stay centered at the top too. Look at that. So what if we take this here and wind it around this side? Maybe a little further down. So we're going to take this, wind it around here. So far, so good. Thank you. We're going to bring this one around here. It definitely uh, gets the wheels turning and makes us try to think of solutions. So if we take if we take this one here to try the crochet thing and then we bring it up over here, this is a long piece, but I might need this much. Now, maybe I should have done this first now. Oh, this thing's really w wiggling all over the place. I use my elbow. Okay, we're going to bring this one up. Uh, mm -hmm. This is 26 gauge wire. Any, any thicker is going to be too thick. So the idea is if we do this here and this to the other side, maybe it's going to hold that spring in place, which would be a win-win. We're going to take this one and bring it through here. Mm-hmm. And whoopee. bring that through here. Okay. And there. Oopie. Okay, so we're just gonna try to do a crochet type thing. I don't know, this wire might just be way too long. I don't know if it needs to be that long. So we go in and through. So this, I have other tutorials on how to do this type of uh, hooky, like hooky loopy crochet thing, which is probably not the technical term for it. But what we want to do is make a kind of a base. Yeah, dream catcher net. That exactly. That's that's the that's the type of style of uh, looping that they use in the in the dream catchers. Exactly. They go around the outside. And then they bring the wire in towards the middle. So that's uh, how you do that. And we're just going to keep going with that idea. It's kind of like crocheting without a crochet hook. So we're going to bring that to that side, that to that side. This is going to be a pretty loose crochet 
but you can do it tighter. I'm going to just cut a little bit off the end and then watch me be missing exactly that much wire, but that, that happens. So we're going to bring this one in. This is going to take a little bit more time, but just so you guys can see the idea, because you could also do a really loose chaos wrap, which would be cute, but this way it's a little bit more even, and it's also hopefully going to give a nice surface if we wanted to put a picture in there. Although I'm not sure I use that back for the back of some pendants. Cool. I like that. Like to put behind a cabochon. It's a good idea to hold it in place. Yeah. I've, I've definitely wrapped cabochons like this before where I take a full on glass cabochon and make, I make a piece like it's almost like a rectangle. And then I wrap that crocheted piece. It's actually crocheted around a glass cabochon and I stitch it in together. Like I pull it in together. So I do have a tutorial for that one. That's quite cute. Okay. So we're going to bring this one around here and then maybe I'll just wind it around the outside and we're going to go in over to the other side. So do I have to flip it over for that? Maybe. Yeah, maybe to, if we want to work left uh, to right, let's just flip it over. I'm actually going to clip this one too, because that's in the way. And da -da -da -da. let's get this going. This wire, I probably should have measured this wire, Amber. I'm not sure how long it was, but it was definitely too long. I think I probably cut about two feet, but seems a little bit long, but you never know. It depends. It really depends on how tightly you want to make this weave. Because if it's a loose weave and you don't need so many rows, then you don't need as much wire. And this is quite um, wonky, but I don't mind wonky for the samples anyways. So we're going to bring this one through and we're going to bring this one through around there oh yeah definitely wonky but that's okay oops and i guess if it's loose around here i could have maybe wound it a bit might have been better but that's okay we're just gonna go with this and hopefully it's gonna have some semblance of solidity we're gonna see we're gonna bring that one around and yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys are working on. Uh, if you're working on some wire art or wire jewelry, or if you're working on other art, or you have other interesting creative projects, let me know in the comments. Oh, this this kind of this kind of knotted a little bit, so we have to unknot that and handcuffs. Yeah, I don't think so. There we go. So we're going to bring this one around here and up here and around. Whoops. Sorry, guys. There goes my, there goes my phone. The trouble is I have a setup where I have my phone, but it's attached with a, it's just like a, on a little Dan, you know those little arms, flexible arms that you can clip to your table and stick your phone? So it's okay, but I am going to try to get an attachment for my tripod because that's how I used to do them on my iPad. And then because this is a new channel and you don't have as much flexibility with you, which the de devices that you use, I can't do that method currently. But maybe when I get a few more subscribers, I'll be able to do that. Animal quilt. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I've done quilting before. Quilting's fun. Yeah, very creative. Very nice. You have to send me a picture, Susan, when you're done. That's a lot of work. Quilting is a lot of work, but it's uh, it's a labor of love when you're doing it for somebody uh, that you love, for sure. That's awesome. Very nice. Oh yeah, this is. This is a little wonky on the wonky side. So just to save time, I'm actually going to skip a skip a loop 
and just bring it around just so we can get, get her done. Let's get to bring this one up. The hinge definitely works. It's getting in the getting in the way a little bit, but that's all right. Bring that. Your first time. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, quilting is really fun. It's very therapeutic. I made a quilt for my parents' uh, bed. Actually, I made two. The first quilt I made for their bed was basically just a hand-painted, very abstract, kind of looked like a landscape thing. And not a lot of sewing involved, a little bit, mostly uh, stitching, uh, not stitching, but uh, painting. And I don't know actually how I did it. I There was like areas that were more kind of um, uh, bunched up, like bunched up fabric and stuff. And I don't remember if I sewed it like that, if I glued it like that. It was basically a painting for the bed. And then that wore out. And then I made another quilt for them. I had taken a quilting class and I had all kinds of like little sampler thing, pieces and stuff. So I put it together as a quilt for their bed in their condo. And then just with wear and with the sunlight and everything it faded and it got worn out so now they I just they move so I bought them I just bought them one on a nice one on Amazon so they're they're happy for that and I recuperated some of the pieces of the quilted one just to have as a memory and I made a book about it I make made a book I wrote a book about the process of making the quilt which was really interesting so they have a copy of that as a memory I like to document things that that I make. It's uh, the process is fun. It's always a learning experience. This is coming along, guys. Look at that. I like this actually, this kind of crocheted thing. We're going to get this one up. Uh, yeah, it was really nice. And my, my parents really appreciated it too. Uh, the first one I made because they actually hired me to make it because at that time I was selling jewelry on the street and I was very very poor I could not um you know make money and nobody liked my stuff because it was they thought it was really weird and and so my parents have always been a huge supporter of my art and so they hired me to make them a quilt and that was amazing because that helped me out for sure and um eventually I found my way I found my medium but it's always hard starting out as an artist. And especially at that time, there was no internet. There was no guidebook on how to become an entrepreneur. Nobody really talked about it. So I think people are very lucky now. There's a lot of resources and, um, and a lot of support, you know, for people that want to start their own business, that want to be an artist. And uh, yeah. Now is today. Now is a great time to to be able to explore that. Only problem now is that cost of living is like unbelievable. So if you want to be an artist, um, you kind of have to uh, do a bunch of other things until you can get it to work out. Whereas when I moved to Montreal and became an artist, the cost of living was very very cheap, and my friends gave me a room in their apartment for dirt cheap and um, it was, I don't know, pros and cons to both time periods, that's for sure. But I cherish those days, they were, they were great times. Okay, look guys, we did this, we did it. So now we're gonna just wind that around here. Done, there we go. Nice, look at that. I like that. I actually prefer that to that. Imagine after all that work. So this would be, I guess, the bottom part. This would be the top part. Now we can adjust this and we can really like push these in here to make sure that our springs don't slide. And then that opens and closes. But let's make sure they're, I have a little pokey end in there too. So let's get that pokey end in. Okay. And then if you're going to put a picture on there, I don't think I have any pictures handy, but you could, it's going to show through. It's still, still going to show through. And maybe, you, maybe you're not going to put pictures in there. Maybe you're going to find something else to put in there, like a lucky stone or something. 
Maybe that would be better to put a lucky little, let me see what I have. And then if you want it more 3D, that's the fun thing about things. This, you could push it out to make it more three-dimensional. Even this, you might be able to push it out a little bit. If you had something to curve it on, you might be able to make this more. And we can affix it to the sides a little bit better. But we can definitely try to curve it out a little bit. I think that would be Heart-shaped stone would be cool. I wonder, see it, look, if you do that, it makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. I wonder if I have a heart-shaped stone or something. Let me see. Let me see what I got. So this, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with that. Maybe we can make the spring not as wide. I'm going to try to push that over. It's got a little bit distorted when we made it three-dimensional, but maybe we can twist these in a bit. Maybe I should have made... These springs a little bit more narrow. That's a good feedback. Get that in there. Okay, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it's just being a little bit funky now. So let's, what are we doing here? We're going to do that here and here and here and here. Maybe we don't want to open it so much. Okay, and let's see if we can find some kind of stone or something. So I don't know, let me know what side you like better, that side or that side. I like them both. I'm gonna just look and see if I have a heart. I mean, I know I have a heart, but do I have a heart of stone? I'm just gonna look in my stuff and see. It would have to be flat. I'm just looking for flat things. I've got that's flat. Um, that's sort of flat. Uh, what else have I got? Hmm. That's sort of flat. Hmm. My stones are downstairs. That's an issue. But I also just bought a bunch of glass calves at the stained glass store. So I don't know if any of those are any good. And then let me look because I have a have a whole tray of works uh, like projects in progress that I might have something. I have a bunch of oh, this is interesting. Like that stone and oh these are cool. I have a gate agate. Oh maybe one of these. I have these agate stones. Those are cool. Um, some more stained glass. More stained glass. Oh, random. This is a heart made out of plastic. Okay. Wow. I have so much stuff. It's crazy. There. I'm going to put that one up. And then in here. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to find. Let me look quickly. Oh, I have these sequins. Okay. Um, I think that's good. I don't want to waste your time. So let's see what we can use out of those here. Okay. Ha! Huh. Let's see. Yeah, these are the stones. I'm going to make those. This is, like, this was to be too big, but that's kind of cool, the heart idea. Um, these are too small, so those aren't going to work. And, you know, you could just put a little stone in there. That's kind of interesting. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can put in there. Uh, let's move those. This, maybe not. I mean, you could. You could put, you could put a, a, like a crystal in there. You could totally do that. And glass does not the right size and then for the agate let's see what we have some nice shapes okay Here's this one this one i don't even know where these came from i think somebody gave me a bunch of jewelry stuff and it had these agates aren't they pretty they're really pretty are any of them gonna fit this one's somewhat heart shaped looks like a fish it's a little bit heart shaped but it goes over the edge a bit let me see Mm, almost the right size. It's it just doesn't quite fit there. That's problem. That's a problem. So let's put that one back. And this one's probably too big. What about this one? 
Gorgeous, eh? Yeah, reversible locket. There you go. Uh, yeah. See, I don't think this is going to fit. But I am going to try to find... That's going to be too small. I will try to find a stone or something that goes in there. In the meantime... Are any of these good? Not really. Are any of these like a little... There's a little red one. This is, a, this is like a glass piece. You can put the glass piece in there. It's kind of interesting. Or the red one. Interesting. I don't know. You guys tell me what, what I should put in there. And let me just see. Well, this one's a little big, but I do have that. Mm, no, too big. Oh, I have a little heart. Oh, I have a little heart thing. It's not a, it's not big enough. But I did have some heart. I she has some heart. Too. There's this. Remember this one too. This one's the one I made earlier. You can put stuff in there. Let me just see. Locket makes anything gorgeous. Yeah. So let me just see if I have my heart piece. Just on the off chance I do. I'm not sure where they would be though. I had a bunch of stuff here. Maybe here. Um, hmm. And if I can't find them, I'll just... Yeah, here's I have a bunch of hearts and stuff here. Let me just see. I don't think I have any big ones though. These are little. These are okay, yeah. Um, no, I don't really have any bigger hearts. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to put these back. Okay. Maybe I'll find something later. Okay. Okay, so let's... I don't think it's going to close with this one in it. That's the problem. No, it's not going to close. So we're going to put that one back. And I can put the red one in here, I guess. I think I'll just put the red one in here for now. Now, the question is, if, is this going to snap close? So now it's, now it's coming undone. So maybe this loop needs to be bigger. We're going to try it. Okay, so we're going to try to make this a bit bigger without it breaking so we made that one a bit bigger uh, mm -hmm. and this has to <clears throat> push down a bit this was this one's in the way i think let me just trim that and okay we want to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to snap in place. So why is it doing that? Let me think. I think it maybe has, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. I'm going to bring this sideways and see if that works better. Okay. Because we're doing it that way didn't really work so well. So we're just going to try to see if that's going to work in there. No. Okay, I'm going to go back this way. I hope it's not going to break. Worked really well. I don't know why it's not working now. We're going to see. Okay. Make sure these are lined up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, thus we have to do it. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't break, please. I'm going to bring this this way, bring it out that way, maybe. With this part down, that might work better. We're going to try that. So this is down, and then this one, if it goes in there, no, it has to be more up. Yeah, if you guys think of a better way to make this clasp, let me know. But for now... We're just going to do it like this and hopefully okay this is just sliding a bit so we're going to bring that one over here yeah definitely needs a little bit of work 
Yeah, so that went in. Whether it's going to stay or not is another question. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. Okay, and that one here. Up. Okay, let's put this one in here and see if it's going to close. Push it? No, something happened. Okay. Sometimes it's just like a teeny little detail that's going to get it to work. Okay, around here. Because we just, yeah, there it snapped. So now it's closed. Oh, look at that. It landed right up there. That's cool. If we had another one like that, that'd be really interesting. Do we have one the same size? Let's pull that open. That just happened to land there. What if we did the two like that? There we go. We'll put two like that. I don't know what we can put at the bottom. I don't have a tiny one to go at the bottom, but I guess if you had another one to go at the bottom, you could put another. If I had a little red one, I better have a little red one downstairs. Um, I don't think I have a little red one on me, but if you had a little red one, you could put three red stones. I'll just put two for now, and for the picture, I'll try to get a third one. So there, that's pretty darn good for a first attempt. So there's our locket. Thank you. Oh, thanks for coming on, Corey. Have a great vacation. So there you go. I'm going to try to find another little glass piece. That is awesome. And then it hangs from this bit in the middle, right? So there's locket number one. Um, we, we're going to go a little over time. So um, Amber, you let me know if you have to go because I would like to try the key one. Okay, and uh, so let me, let me try the key one. We're gonna put that at the side. And hey, Louise, how are you? Nice to see you. So let's do the key. We're going to start with 18 gauge wire. We're on a roll. It actually worked. I'm shocked. So let's go ahead. Go for it. Yay. And then if you have to go, you just let me know. Okay. So let's try to measure this. 18 inches is probably too much. So let's try about maybe 15 inches. Let's try that. Uh, 15 inches, 18 gauge wire. And bring this one over here. Now, if we're going to do the key like that, let's start, leave a little bit at the bottom and bring this. I just have to think of the best way now to get it to stay. We've done the heart shape, so I'm thinking we could do the round shape because we already did the heart, but you could do this with the round shape. So let's go ahead and take this, maybe about this size here, and get a round thing. I could take my little babushka dolls. Steampunk, yeah, I know, your favorite, eh, Wendy? Wendy is obsessed with steampunk. I don't know why, but there we go. So we're gonna take this one around and Bring that one around here. Now, what I want to, what I'm thinking is, we should have something at the top to. Let me just think. This takes a minute. Uh, okay, I have to think into now that I know how the how it functions. What I want to do though is have a little thing at the top so it won't slide back and forth. Now, do we want to put a thing up? Is it going to get in the way? We do that one, or do we want to just plain? I think I'm going to have to do a little something at the top so it doesn't slide. I'm thinking. So let's just go ahead at the halfway point and do this around here. Chat disconnected. Oh, I'm not sure what happened, but apparently the chat was disconnected. So if you're trying to comment oh there we go oh, okay yeah i don't know why the uh, chat was disconnected so that's odd 
Very strange. Okay, so now we're going to do a little loop at the top, just so we have something in the center that's going to prevent it from sliding. This might be a little bit big. So if we have it like that, okay. Okay, so if that's gonna be our circle, and then we wanna bring this one down, straight down, and then we're going to form the key. Well, that was the other thing I thought of doing a heart key, but I have done a, a live stream with other key designs before. So I think this was similar to one that I did before. So why don't we bend this one out here and then bring this one down here and down and up and then measure this one here and out. Okay, so that's that. Now, is that high enough? Let's just see, there's that and that. Maybe it has to be a little bit higher. We're gonna see. So we have that and that. Oh, I'm off screen, sorry. So we've got that and that here and then we want to attach those so let's get some 22 gauge wire maybe it's a little bit stronger than the than the 26 for sure and we are all buffering currently let me know what you think if you're because i can't here it looks good so if there's an issue just let me know and I can always stop if you think it's not good. And Amber, if you want to DM me on Messenger, if there's a problem, I will keep my I will keep my thing open. So let's go ahead and bring this one here. So we're going to wind this one around. Uh, improved. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure what happened. That's very strange. We're going to bring this one here and around here a couple of times. That's why the chat cut out. Yeah, I didn't. It's funny. I didn't see anything on my end except that it said that there was um, the chat cut out. So that's mysterious. So hopefully it's all right now. So now we are going to try to do the bottom of the key. Now you could actually weave it or you can just do a simple wrap. Sometimes weaving is better, but just to save time, I'm just gonna do a simple little wrap here, here, and then trim that. And hopefully it'll be all right. We're gonna bring that one in, bring that one in. Okay. And then this here, we're going to, maybe just what we can do for this is just trim them to about the same size, like one and a quarter inch. And airwave ghouls. Mm. Hi, Marilyn. Thank you. Yeah, let me know if, it, if it's better now. Here, I'm going to remove this to get it out of the way. And we're going to try to do a key. And like I said, we could have done the heart key. Maybe I'll do another. Maybe I'll do a heart key after the live stream just to compare it. But for now, we're going to try to do a regular, a regular key. So we're just going to do these spirals. And like I said, I have another live stream just with keys that I did before. So this is, I think, similar to one that I did on that live stream. But... I should do a tutorial for keys. I guess I could ask you guys which are your favorite designs. I did possibly one out of paper clips, and now I don't remember. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to got, got that and that. That's kind of fun. It's like stylized. And then for this, I could weave it or... I could just do it cheap like that. And I could also add beads, which might be interesting if you want to add beads up there. But I think for now, we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to bring this one up. Hopefully I don't run out of wire. 
Yeah, definitely I would advise maybe weaving this because just a wrap is pretty plain, but it's all right. Okay, so now we have that and that. I don't know if I want to leave that on for now. Oh, yeah, I wanted to... I think I'm just going to clip that for now. So we've got that one. And then we need another round for the for the top part of the locket. But how are we going to do that and get it to look decent? So let's just get a piece of wire and make our circle around. Okay. And then the question is, how are we going to get it to sit properly? And oh, how do we attach it up here to the top? We need like some kind of spring thing. Mm -hmm. Let me just think for a sec. So we're talking about hearts. So maybe I will put like a heart shape in there. That might be a way to finish it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go longer piece. And... Let me just take a longer piece here. Uh, where's my end? Oh, okay. You can't find the end of your wire. Uh, must be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's tucked underneath. Okay, so measure about 12 inches, I guess. 12 to 15 inches. And... Sound is in and out. Oh no, here we go again. Arr. Well, I'm not quite sure what to say. I guess I'll keep going. Otherwise, let me know if you think we should stop because I could always stop and um, do it do it on my own after, which would be okay. Better now. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what it could be because it looks like I have three bars for my internet, so it's a little bit mysterious. Okay, so let me bring this one around. Marc, ça va ton internet? Oui, oui. Okay. Et c'est là pour toi? Non, c'est eux autres qui disent ils le voient pas uh, très non, bien. Non, Okay, Mark has zero problems, so I don't know what it's a YouTube thing, maybe. I'm not sure what that, what's going on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, so here is the other circle, and we want to get it about the same size, the best we can. Okay, so we've got that and that. Perfect-ish. And then what if we did a heart inside? So we're going to take this and bend that one up. Mm -hmm. And then this one, we'll take that and bend it up on an angle. I was waiting for me to get back to the room to plug in. Hmm. Okay, so now we are going to take this on either side, that and that. Let's see if this is gonna work. And then what if we made a heart out of this? Uh, can we use the comb? If we did this inside here, I'm gonna try that. And then this one. I'm going to bring that one around. Okay. Oof, that's wonky. Should I got my, um, I have some larger looping pliers that are more for making rings. So that might be interesting. But this is, it's a little hard to access and to make this smooth. So I'm going to try to fix it with my pliers. We're going to bring this one in and try to make them more or less the same size. So that's the idea. We're going to try to do a spirally heart here. 
And because it's hard to access, I'm gonna just try to do the spirals by eye. So they won't be perfect, but we're just gonna to try to bring them in, bring them in like this. And the 18 gauge is stiff, so keep that in mind. It's a little trickier to make smooth spirals when the wire is so stiff. Okay, so we just got one here and we'll clip it. And then this one, I'm gonna bring it around, okay. And around. Okay, around and around and try to do the spirals a little bit even. And like I said, with the, with the 18 gauge, it's a little trickier and it was a little hard to access with the ring cone. So we're just going to do our best. It's getting a little cranked, but it's okay. There we go. And after this, I have to go to the post office. So I'm trying to get this done and um, all right, one, one, two, two. Okay, I don't want to do it. I want to try to keep them even, so I'm just going to bring this one up. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, now buffering again. Oh my goodness. Doing that honestly, there's it doesn't say anything on my end, so I find that very, very strange that they're not even giving me any kind of error notice. Or because usually when it buffers, my screen freezes like I could see it, but right now all I see is um, what I normally see that is just me making stuff, so I don't know what the issue is right now. It's not doing it again. Okay, cool. There we go. Perfect. So now we have there. And this might be a case where you might want to um, hammer it. But that's interesting. I like that. So that goes there and that goes there. And then how to get it to clasp I do like the idea of doing a little a little bead thing in fact I was going to look at that I was going to attach a bead here and then I didn't so what if we just added an extra wire with the 20 gauge 22 and got a bead let's try it so we're going to get that we'll get a either this size or that size or like a button thing but maybe the bead would work best so maybe the small one's better this is the four millimeter okay and if we take this bring this one around and Peggy Peggy this is for you the uh, you asked for a heart a Valentine's things and also you mentioned the locket so we're doing this a heart locket. Well, we've already done one heart locket, and then we're doing trying to do a second one. So we're going to take, I'm going to just twist this a couple of times here. Okay. So we've got a little button thing going on. It's a little wonky. Oof, it wasn't the best. That wasn't the best twist in the planet. I don't know if I could bring it back a little bit. Let me bring it back. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I'm actually going to get another piece. I don't know why it got, it got a little bit crooked. So let's take another piece here and share the one you made. Yes, yes. You could, you could send it in or post it or send it, whatever you prefer. So now we're going to just try to Get, make sure that's centered this time. It still slips a little bit, but okay. So here, oh, it slipped again, whatever. Okay, so here's our little 
a bead on here. And then if we put this here, it's going to stick out quite a bit. Maybe that's too much now. So let me unwind it a bit. Just going to twist it once here and then attach. See if we can attach it here. Okay, so if we attach it here, I could have also used the 22 gauge wire that I had twisted here in the first place. So we're going to attach that one there, here. And then this one, let's just attach it on the other side. And hopefully that's going to be in a good position. We're going to see how that's going to go. Might have had to twist it a little bit more. I'm just going to twist it through the frame so it won't wiggle too much. Okay, so there's that. Now this one, we have to somehow get it to close, open, close, open, close. And we also want to fill in this area. So let's take maybe 22 this time, um, probably about 18 inches. We're going to try it. And okay, let us, let me just think for a sec. What if we use the same wire to attach this as we did to do the chaos wrap? We're going to see. So if we take this and we can add other wires after. So we're going to take this. We're going to make sure this is sort of in the right place. We're going to wind this around a couple of times. One, two. I'm not sure how tightly it has to be wound. There, and then this side over here, and do it through a couple of times. Let's get these extra bits out of the way. There we go. Perfect. And get this one through here, one, and two. There. So we've got those, and let's make sure, yeah, it opens and closes for sure. Uh, do we need more than that or not? Um, maybe a third time. We can try. See if that works to do it a third time. Maybe this one too. We're going to try a third time. Mm -hmm. These bits are in the way too. Okay, so there we have it attached at the top. Here's the heart. Now this flips up, but what are we going to do with these? We are going to try to fill in the back. So let's just go ahead and um, let's bring it. Well, yeah, maybe keep it. Let's try to keep it underneath maybe. And I'm just going to do a slightly chaos wrap thing, but not exaggerated. We're going to bring it around and down again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add something there after, but for now, we're just going to keep doing a kind of a chaos wrap thing underneath, just to keep it really loose. And to give you the idea that you can really do anything you want with this. And if you want to make sure it's secure, you can weave it through the chaos wrap. So it's a little bit like what we did before with the hook, but we are keeping it very abstract. So we're going to just kind of loop it around in a way that keeps it very loose. And bring this one down, but yet hooks, the chaos wraps do hook together a little bit. So we're going to this time, we're just going to go around once, go around as many times as you want. You have three, but you're going to share one for now. No buffering here. Yay. Hopefully the buffering is done. Yeah. So now let's just keep going around with this to make our, we're just making a little surface underneath. So if you want to put something in the locket, there will be something for it to sit on. We're going to go over here. I do like this loose chaos wrap. 
I might have to add some more wire. So now if you want to fill in this area, you could bring it around and around, but then we're going to hook it into this chaos wrap because we want them all hooked together so it makes a nice solid surface. Now this loop is over there a little too far, so we're just going to move it a little bit. And then this one too, we can hook it in and bring it around. And I mean, you could keep hooking it into different areas if you want. We're just really trying to fill in that space. Um, how much? Well, maybe we'll just bring it back. Well, I have an idea for over there, so I'm not gonna do much with that. I'm gonna bring it down here and finish it off. So we'll just go ahead and clip that one. And then this one, we're just gonna keep going and try to finish the chaos wrap. Okay, we're gonna bring that one in here. And maybe bring it the other way. Maybe I will hook it in here though, just to be sure. So let's bring it in here. There, and here, and up here. Yeah, it's just really loose. So whatever you want to do to hold these bits together, just keep winding them around. This one got a little bit kinked. I'm going to pull it back a bit. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I can't wait to see them, Peggy. That's awesome. So we're going to bring that one around. And I could hook it into there too. Um, yeah, I'm going to hook it in. I think it's better when you hook the wires in together. And then that way they're a little bit more secure. So we're going to bring that one there. And then this one around here. And then you can always like bring it through this one too again, if you want. Yeah, whatever, whatever you think it needs. Just look, see if there are any spaces that need to be filled up. If the end gets too small, you're just gonna have to uh, get your pliers. Okay, so there, let's trim that. Perfect. Yeah, I like the chaos. The chaos is really cool. Perfect. Okay, so that's cool. And like I said, you can you can make it more 3D if you want, especially the chaos wrap. You can push it out to make it more 3D. But this the heart is going to be on the front. And then we need something that it's going to, I mean, look at that. Oh, maybe we don't need a clasp because look, if you push this one up a little bit and you push this one down, it kind of snaps in place. I actually don't even think you need, I mean, maybe you do, but it works pretty good that it, it snaps in place with that. And then with this, we can, um, attach it yeah because that was the other thing that I had a different idea to attach this but I think I think I like it like that if you just if you just stick it under there and maybe we have to attach it a little bit with a 22 gauge let me just see yeah it's kind of cool how that attaches but let me just I'm worried about this coming apart so I'm gonna twist a wire around that intersection a couple of times here. Whoopsies. Yeah, the bead clip works well. It just kind of goes clip. But we want to make sure it's going to stay working. So what I'm doing is I'm just attaching that there. I'm going to put, twist this around a couple of times on the other side. This is just so the heart doesn't come apart. 
and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. And then this one on this side here, I mean, you could also add little beads around the outside. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can wind the wire around to attach it uh, up here, you know, uh, whatever, whatever you think. But let me just see if that's still going to clip in place. I think it, it clipped better without these wires, I think. Let me just see. Well, it still clips. Okay. Let me just fix this up. What if we, let me just clip this for now, see what happens. Okay. I'll pinch that and that one. And this one, we want to make sure it stays in place. But the, what we can do for that is get another little piece of 22 gauge. Trying to make it as solid as possible. Bernice, how are you? Uh, could, it could go through the bottom of the heart. Um, oh, we could do that too. Let me just see. Let me just see. Doesn't it doesn't clip when you do that, but it does clip when you do it this way. So I think it's, I think this works well. And what we're going to do now is take this wire and try to attach the heart on either side too, just to make it a little bit more solid. The one I'm working on now is started at the edge and kept adding wire I did forget I did forget to add the hinge and hook to add more wire yeah you can always add more wire yeah you can definitely always add more wire so now see this is sliding so we want it to stay centered so what I'm going to do is actually use this wire I think uh, and just bring it up so it does stay centered. How much do we have to do? That's the question. So I will go ahead and clip this sign. I'm going to do another wire on the other sign. And then we want to make sure the heart, the heart doesn't flip back and forth. So we're going to take this Open this one up. I'm going to open the spiral up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a bit. And now we're going to attach it here. And so it's the same on both sides. And let me just wind it around a few times here to anchor the side of the heart in place. So we're going to go one, two, and three, and then this one is going to come up here towards the middle, and this way we should be able to get it to sit in place so it doesn't go back and forth. We're going to see. There we go. Perfect. There. Excellent. Cool. So let's go ahead and clip this side here. And pinch it here. Okay. And we want to make sure it's even on both sides. So let's go ahead and bring this one around again. Mm -hmm. There. And let's see that one. Because that, we want it to be even. This has to be at the middle. So I'm going to go around this one more time around here. Yeah, because we really don't want it sliding. Okay, so what's that? 
Let's make sure that's in the middle at the bottom. This is the tricky part is getting it nicely adjusted. I'm gonna go up maybe one more time around here. There we go, and around here. And then this one around to the front, and we're gonna see if that's centered. I think that's good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pinch clip that and that. Okay, and looks awesome, thank you. We're going to pinch this end in and this end in. Perfect. Let me get this one in a little better. Just get our little ends in. Okay, so there is, I wanna make sure this works well. Oops, let's not break any wires. So this one, I think we need to kind of untwist that one a little bit because we want this to sit on top. These, I find this a little tight in there. Maybe we should have had like done more of a, I don't know if we could have done a weave thing there or what we could have done to make it a little bit more um, space there. See, it's, I don't know if you could see, but it's very tight in there. So there might be a better way to wrap that so it's not so tight. Sometimes if you just take it and do a little flick of the wrist, it can work. And then this, we want to twist it. So this, we want this part to be centered. So right now, it's, I think there's too much space here. So let's just see if we can move that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the hard part is doing the little adjustments. Sometimes if you just like hold it and pull it, it could be good. Yeah, we're just gonna push this one over a little bit more. Stack that on there. This we can adjust a little bit. Here's our little button thing. We're gonna see if that's gonna work now. Okay, and then I still feel it's a little tight at the top, but I'm not sure there's a lot we can do about that right now. We might have to, we might have had to like loosen, if we loosened up these a little bit, it might be okay. But for, for the sake of just getting, getting it done, I think that's okay. And now this part, if you do want to cover up more space, you can pull this up and pull this down a bit. Okay, so if we wanna kind of open up the spirals a bit so that they cover a little bit more ground. Say you want something in there to hold in place and there's too many gaps, you can adjust it. This one where we're gonna have to bring it in a little bit, there. Yeah, so there's little little adjustments that you can do. It's definitely not perfect, perfect, but it's pretty good. There we go. Good. Figure eight as a hinge. Figure of eight would have left a tiny gap. Yeah, so like rather than doing that, like I know what you mean, you like do like a weave type of figure eight thing. That's a better idea. I think it's a little late for the, to do it now, but I, I I know what you mean. It's like a, let me just take a pencil. Yeah, so if we had the, let's do it on the side. If we had the, this one <laughs> with that, and then we had this other circle. So like doing like this type of thing, I think that would be, would probably be a good idea. We could try that another time, but great idea, Bernice. And uh, yeah, so any any kind of little improvements you could do if you try to make it, uh, let me know, let me know. And so this is what we have so far. I might try to remove it and do the figure eight idea after. 
I wonder if I could do it now. Let's try it. Let's try it. We've got uh, we've got nothing to lose. I just have to make sure I attach the other things. So let's just go ahead and cut this off. Oops. And let's try it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if we can cut all these off. Okay. Let's do that because right now it's a little bit tight and we're going to see what we can do here. Okay. Just have to get it, remove all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there. And this one. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and then if anybody has to go, uh, no worries at all. So let's let's try to fix up. We this circle got a little bit mangled, so we're gonna try to fix it up a little bit. Okay, so now you can see here's the piece that goes on top. Okay, with the heart, and then um, coil for the hinge. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a coil, but it would have to be loose. So you'd have to do it and then add it after, so it would be loose. That's definitely a good idea. So we're going to take this and attach this here. And this one, too. We're just going to undo. So these are the two ends of the 22-gauge wire that I cut off. So we're just going to finish them so they're attached. And let's try that. Yeah, because if you could, you could do a kind of coil thing, you'd have to do it first and then slide it on the wire so it would stay nice and loose. So there's our pieces. So you could see the elements that we have. And maybe I'll take a picture of that. So we have, so I have a record of it. Let me just get a, let me get a camera. Okay. So let me just take a picture of these. So we have them. So we have a record of what they look like. There we go. Perfect. And we'll try it like the, the um, letter rate thing and see if that's going to work. So let's take a piece of wire and go here and bring that one around. I guess I do separate ones on either side. We're going to see. So we're going to take this here up and put that one here. Wait, uh, there. Um, or a weaving thing. Let's just see if we bring that one around here here and then this one here okay so yeah if that one goes here and then up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we go over it because if you're weaving you usually go over so let's just see what we do here definitely a good idea to leave a kind of a space in between them. So we're going to bring this one over here. It's a little bit hard to hold them in place. And yeah, I guess if we had coils and added them, you just have to make coils and then add them before you close the loops. That would that would work too because this is going to be a little bit tricky to hold it in place, but we're going to try. I'm going to bring that one up and over. Okay. It's almost like weaving. It is like weaving. So we're going to bring that one through and then up uh, doing like a full loop. And maybe if we held it this way, it might be easier. Okay. Uh, yeah, down. Okay, we're going to bring that down. And then up. Up. Yeah, it's much easier if you hold it this way. 
and then down. Okay, and uh, over, down. Okay, so that's two. I've got two little weaves there. Let's try three. Up, down, around here, and then down. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we've got two, two sets. No, we've got one, two. Let's bring that one to the back. Okay. So we've got that on one side. It definitely has more uh, flexibility. Okay. And then the other one, I think we'd have to add, I don't know if we could use the same wire. I think we're going to have to add a separate wire. So let's clip this one off here. There we go. And let's get another piece here. I have a sip of water. Figure eight weave. Yeah, it's a nice basic weave. Okay, so now we are going to take this one over here. I don't know whether to cut this, this wire off yet or not. I haven't decided. I'm just going to bring it down, I think. Okay, so now this side, this is going to go here, and let's just start it, and then we're going to figure it out after. Okay. So we're going to take this and just hold it here. Go around a couple of times. Here, there, and then to the back, to this side. Wait, get that pushed in. There. There we go. Yeah, Bernice, your weaving is exquisite. I don't know how you have the patience for it, but um, I'll do my own modified version of weaving. We're going to bring this one over to here. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Did I do it right? Uh, under, yeah, I think so. To push that stuff over. And we're going to do there. Go around once, twice. Okay. And then under. Yeah. It's definitely better than it being like super squished at the top. So I think this is going to work hopefully. And then around to here. And then over here. And maybe when I make the templates, I could do like a little diagram or something showing how to do it. So we're going to do this and hopefully this is going to work. You don't want to go too wide with it either. So I've got, yeah, two on that side, two on that side. So I think I'm going to go ahead and clip this here and this one to clip it. Mm -hmm. And then what have we got? We've got that. It's a little crooked, but we can adjust it. So we have that, that, that. Do I have to go back there? I don't know if we have to go back another time over here. Maybe. Okay. What have we got? One, two. I'm going to bring it back over here. I can always trim it. Okay. I'm going to go back one more time here and finish it on the back. Or actually, this is the front. Front or back? That's the front the back. Okay, we're going to clip that. Okay, so now it's the autism. <sighs> okay. Well, you're definitely very disciplined with uh, your weaving, and I admire your discipline and your focus. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now there we go. So it's a little bit wiggly, but hopefully it'll work. 
So there's an option. And if you're going to do a coil, you could do like small coils though, because you don't have a lot of space here. That's the trouble. But this is one option to do it, to hold it. It's a, it's a little wonky. I'm not quite sure how to get around that, but this might or might not have been a good idea for this design, but I like, I like the concept. Maybe I had to go a little tighter with it. That's possible. I might have not tightened up the wires enough. Uh, the wire might not be thick enough. That's another thing. But it definitely leaves a little bit more space um, than before. So you're going to have to maybe weigh your options. I might try it with the spring. Uh, there we go. <laughs> now let's go ahead and clip this or not clip it we're going to try to pinch it in place so that's what we've got this part is a work in progress i'll definitely keep you guys stay tuned about what is possible for that maybe if i had pulled the wires a little bit tighter but i do find they're wiggling a little bit but that's okay and the idea now would be, oh, I got to push these wires up a little bit more. So these got a little pushed out of place. There we go. We can just adjust those. And then this one, if you do want to make a kind of more 3D thing, you could. You can add beat wire in there to attach it a little better and stuff. And then this would just, see, it's not clipping as well anymore, but maybe it was better when it was tighter because it was clipping it was clipping a little bit better. So I'm gonna work on that. I might pull out the weave and just coil it again with a loose, looser coil. I'm gonna to have to see about that. And then, but this is the idea. We're going to uh, close it up like that. Yeah, I think I probably will pull that back, but that's okay. So that goes like that. And if we wanna put something in the middle, let's see what we got. Maybe another round red one. Those ones are nice. And yeah, it definitely looks cute. Uh, just the mechanics are going to need a little bit of work. If we put a bead in there and go like that, we would have to uh, figure out a way like to make this more 3D. If, we ha if, if this was more 3D, you could definitely put a more three-dimensional object inside. So this is something you might have to work on. If you do want to put a crystal in there, and, you know, the cute thing about this is, in theory, you could put a different color crystal uh, depending on what you're wearing or how you're feeling and all that type of thing. So I would maybe attach this in the middle. See, we've made it a little more cone-like. Cone and these two, you can curve these sides out a little too to accommodate a stone. And then if we put this stone in here, you could even push it back a little bit on the chaos wrap. Say you need more room at the back. You could push it out a little bit, put that there, and then clip it, pinch it in here. So this maybe what what if can we put the what well now now it seems to work where you put the bead to the inside and it holds closed. But yeah, because before we did it like this, and it's true, and I think it was Connie that said to put the bead to the inside so let's try that we'll push it up a little bit more and push it that way but then it's not really holding as much or you could remove the bead and put a hook but for now maybe we'll just put it back here and pinch it in there i guess yeah so that have to think of maybe more a better a better solution to get this to really hold in place I guess if we had the kind of buttonhole thing again, but I think that is maybe going to need a little bit of work. Yeah. Cause I do like the idea of it clipping in, but now for some reason it's not clipping in as well. It's not really holding in place, but I think there's a lot we can do with that as well. So guys, let's see what we made. We made this one and oh, thanks Wendy. Thank you guys. Nice. So here's what we did. We did the heart one, and then this one opens up. It's got like a little clip in there that opens up. 
and then we just put a couple of beads and I'm going to look for another bead to put in there and then it just kind of closes up and I'll put some better yeah look it snapped I don't know if you heard that but it did snap and then we have the key which I'm not 100% sure about that I might fix that uh, little uh, thing as well so let me know which one you prefer love them both yay and I thank you thanks guys okay so let me let me flip the screen and it's this way, right? Yep, I think we're there. Yay. Oh, now we have a cord in the way. I don't know how we get rid of that cord. I'm not sure. Here. Uh, maybe like that? We're going to see. Ah, oh, that's better. No cord. Good. Let me just move back a little bit and just see. So I'm going to look at the camera now. I can't see your comments. But thank you guys so much for hopping on the live stream. Thank you to Amber for always moderating the chat and for doing the timestamps that you guys will see in a few days. I'll put together some uh, templates for these to show a little bit more of the techniques a little bit better. I'm going to work on some of the uh, other uh, ideas for the clasps and things like that. Uh, this was a super fun work in progress. Maybe I'll do more next week or a different Valentine thing next week. We're going to figure it out and see. And be sure to subscribe to this new channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live. I'll be going live uh, every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And check out my regular YouTube channel, Heather Boyd Wire, for all kinds of wire art and jewelry tutorials. So thank you guys again for hopping on. And we'll see you in the Facebook group, The Wire Makers Club, and you can share pictures of your work. And Peggy, thanks for suggesting the hearts and the lockets. And I can't wait to see your lockets in the Wire Makers Club as well. And thank you uh, to Melody. I showed her picture earlier in the um, show from Live Wires for the Win, who had made her locket a couple of years ago and it must have uh, really stuck in my brain because I somewhat uh, remembered the design and then I went back to see it and it's so beautiful it's more like a trinket box where she had the little piece that went inside so I'll link up a um, I'll link up that photo I could link it up to the group the live wires for the wind group as well so have a great night everybody and we will see you the next time bye